back in the winter time I made a video talking about my hopes and dreams for this car and we're at that point where we're actually going to the track and making some test hits. Uh, the suspension upgrades that we did are excellent. Um, for those of you who don't know, I took the dead shocks that just let the front end come up completely when you launch. Uh, I took those out and I put in some competition engineering three-way shocks and I've got them on the middle setting. Uh, we took out the 50-50 shocks, uh, the Mopar Performance style that you use with super stock springs, and I put in the competition engineering triple uh, adjustable shocks in the back, and that's set in, in the middle setting as well. And the car really seems to like that. Um, not paper slipping the tires right now like I did in the one video when the front end came up extremely violently, but there's a lot more control in the launch of the car and uh, definitely seems to be working better. A lot of that also has to do with the uh, leaf springs. Uh, they had like eight uh, packs of springs on the passenger side, whereas now it's got the super stock springs that are weight matched to the car. So in a way, by replacing the sure grip uh, differential with a spool and adding the super stock springs, I probably actually lighten the car up even a little bit more, uh, which is pretty cool. But uh, you know, when you build a car, you always have these expectations, you know, like on paper, the car is gonna run here but you try to prepare yourself and be realistic and say, but I'll be happy if it's here. Well, the car performed up where we thought it was going to. So I'm over the moon. Um, but you can see on that last run, we had to stop the, the run. We noticed a little bit of a drip uh, coming from the front of the bell housing of the transmission. And uh, we went ahead and ran the car. Um, it wasn't enough, it was just like an occasional drip. But on that last run, when we pulled up to the line, it was gushing pretty good out of there. Uh, the transmission is still shifting fine. As you can see, I just drove around the cul-de-sac. Uh, it goes through all the gears. And actually, it's not leaking right now, but that's not something that you want to let go. So hopefully, I'll get a uh, uh, some stuff in, and we're going to address that so that the car will be ready for the no-name nationals. But pretty excited. Um, it's been a long road. For those of you who have been here from the beginning of the car, uh, I'm hoping to make you guys proud. <laughs> Uh, but the sad part is my call-outs are against my friends anyway. Uh, I've already pretty much told them what the car runs and uh, just going to go have a good time and make a good show.